Hi everyone, in this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to take a look at the ICU ventilator mode SIMV, or Synchronized Intermittent Mandatory Ventilation. Before we get started, if you like the content that I'm making and you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, and pass it on to somebody else you think it might help. Now I will say if you haven't watched the previous video on AC mode or assist control mode, I do recommend that as we will be taking some of those concepts and bringing them over here to the SIMV mode, but let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and label this SIMV and we're going to talk about in the same order what we dial in, then how it works, and then what we're going to get out as a result. So the same thing, just like in AC mode, we're going to go ahead and dial in our FiO2, which is our percent oxygen. We're going to dial in our rates, which is also seen as an F on the machine for frequency. We're going to dial in our tidal volume, and we're going to dial in our PEEP. Now, there is one more thing that we're going to dial in here that we didn't necessarily see on AC mode, and this is a pressure support. And I will talk about that shortly in this video. Sorry, I kind of goofed there but we'll explain what that's for during this as well. So let's take a look at how it works. And the reason that I ask you to watch the AC mode video before this is that we're gonna go ahead and compare this to the AC mode in order to make things a little bit simpler. So like we had discussed in our AC mode, every breath, no matter if it's the minimum frequency that is dialed in or if the patient triggers more breaths than what the machine is dialed for, everyone is going to get the full tidal volume. So if you set it at 12 and 500 and the patient is apneic, they're going to get 12 breaths, 500 mLs each. But in AC mode, if the patient is awake and they're triggering the vent 20 times, 25 times, they're going to get that full 500 cc tidal volume with every breath triggered. What SIMV mode does is only delivers full tidal volume at the frequency dialed in. All other breaths are unsupported. And that's not entirely true. We'll explain why in a second. It comes down to this pressure support thing over here. But the whole idea, and I'll go ahead and draw it on a volume time loop here, say volume and time, is that if you looked at an AC mode, we would see the same volume every time, no matter what, because the machine is programmed to give that full 500 cc's that we're talking about in every breath. But when we're looking at SIMV mode, then you'll see something that looks more like this. Now what's happening here at the pink marked tops is the patient has their uh, rate set at whatever it is, and at that frequency, the patient will get the full tidal volume that you've plugged in. But over here on our yellow tops, each of these breaths the patient has initiated by themselves, but the ventilator is not giving them that full tidal volume. It's either one of two things. Either one, there is no pressure support added, and the patient is just taking whatever tidal volume they're going to get by their own spontaneous breathing, or like I mentioned, you can program in a pressure support to help them on these breaths here in between the full tidal volume breaths. Now, a lot of times we use SIMV uh, or pressure support, which we're gonna talk in another video, in order to wean patients from the ventilator because it gives them the opportunity to take full tidal volumes at a normal frequency, but it also allows them to exercise their diaphragms, take as big of tidal volumes as they can by themselves without support. Now, I've heard two sides of the coins for this, and, and you can ask your attendings or anybody that you work with, SIMV is supposed to be more comfortable for the patient because imagine you were on AC mode and every time you triggered a breath, you got a full 500 tidal volume. Well, that might not be so comfortable, especially if you're, say, tachypnic or, you know, just being on a ventilator in general and breathing through a straw. 
with SIMV, because you're not getting that full title volume every time, it's supposed to be a bit more comfortable. Now, the other side of it is that you might get a title volume of 500, but then all of a sudden you can't take that full title volume by yourself and now your title volumes are 100 or 200 and they're really uncomfortable for you. And then all of a sudden you get another 500 title volume breath and the patient doesn't know which next breath is going to be supported and which isn't. And it can be very disorienting and it can be very uncomfortable. At the end of the day though, not supporting every breath to a full tidal volume does allow the patient to exercise their diaphragm, work on taking deep breaths, and can show us as the physicians, nursing staff, whoever is caring for the patient, respiratory therapists, anybody, that the patient is capable of taking adequate tidal volumes by themselves or with a little bit of support. So again, I urge you to take a look at the AC mode because I talk about this a little bit more in depth, but what we're gonna get out of this is a pressure. And that's because when you give a certain tidal volume because of the relationship with the ideal gas law of volume and pressure, the lungs are going to expand and you are going to get a certain pressure within that system due to volume taking up a certain amount of space. Now, I'm gonna show you here is that if the patient, say, can only take uh, 200 cc's, 300 cc's alone, and you have 500, what you're going to see for your tidal volumes on the vent might be 500, then maybe 250, then 200, then 200, then 500 again when that next supported breath comes up. And that's perfectly normal to see. And the same thing you're going to see changes in your pressures because you might have a pressure of 22 then it's going to go ahead and drop because they're taking smaller breaths and 15 and 14 and 14. And then it's going to shoot back up to 23 because you're getting that full tidal volume in with that breath. So in summary, for SINV and compared to AC mode, AC mode, every breath triggered or delivered by the machine will be the full tidal volume that you have dialed in. In SIMV, only the breaths at the rate that you have set in. So if I set, um, we'll say 500 tidal volume at a rate of 12, that means every five seconds you will get a full tidal volume breath, but any breath taken in between that time by the patient triggered will either not be supported at all or will be supported with whatever pressure support that you add into it. This allows the patient to exercise their diaphragm and see what they can do on their own. And it is used a lot of times in order to help wean patients from the vent. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to write in. I hope this made sense. Uh, and I really hope that you pass it on to somebody else that it might help in their time in the ICU.